All right, hey, Shalom, first and foremost, let to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And I'm greetings and salutations to you, Akim, a potent testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. All right, this is a, a prayer. Um, I've, I've entitled it Solomon's Great Prayer. This is based off of the book of Second Chronicles, the first chapter and the 10th verse. And, you know, as far as context is concerned, this is after Solomon has ascended up to the throne of Israel, after he had uh, gathered all the nobles, uh, the mighty men, and the uh, captains, and the fathers of Israel, um, and uh, had made sacrifice in Gibeon, which is the hill city of uh, about five miles, eight, kilom eight kilometers from Jerusalem, which is, was a high place where the tabernacle was uh, placed before the temple was established. And, um, and th that night, uh, Yahweh had came to Solomon. And um, this is what Solomon petitioned and prayed for uh, in communing with the Heavenly Father. Uh, so let's read it in the English, King James Version. This is Second Chronicles chapter 1, verse 10. And uh, we're going to break it down in the Hebrew accordingly. And this is Solomon's petition in, to Yahweh. Give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before this people. For who can judge this thy people that is so great. So Solomon asked for wisdom and knowledge. He didn't ask for riches and wealth. Well, wisdom and knowledge is actually riches and wealth. <laughs> it's true riches and true wealth. It's heavenly riches and he heavenly wealth. And it can bring forth an abundance on the physical spectrum likewise if applied. All right, so here we go. Now we have it in the Hebrew. I'm going to read it through and then we're going to dissect it. So it says, I thakma wa ma dai than laya wa ataza la panya ha aim haza kaya maya. Ya Shapat Ath Aimka Haza Ha Gadwal. So, uh, Aitha meaning now, Hakma meaning wisdom, Wa Madai, Madai meaning it was a Wa meaning and. Madai meaning knowledge. Uh, than coming from the is a coming from the root word nathan, which means give. La ya la meaning to ya meaning me la ya to me. Wa meaning eh, um no well it's actually let me see here wa a taza a, which um let me see so really. The root word of this ataza a is yataza uh, yataza a. All right. Do we have it right here? Did I write that down? Yep, yataza a to go out. But you see how the ya is in present and there's a a there. That's a conjugated form of saying I. So kind of like saying I, I'm, you know how people say I am, but somebody might say I'm. I'm it's kind of similar, uh, but the I is a representation of I. So I, the I go out. Instead, you, know, you understand? So I to the I, and the I may go out. All right. It says, La 
Panya. La in this context, like more say, more so saying in or or like saying like unto um panya meaning before. Alright. Ha I'm ha meaning the I'm people. I'm meaning people. Haza meaning this. <clears throat> Kaya meaning for. Maya meaning who. Ya shapat drawn from the root word shapat. Which means judge. When the ya is in the front of it, it's like a future tense saying shall judge. So ya shapat meaning shall judge. Ath, this. Yeah, ath meaning this. I'm ka. I'm meaning people. Ka meaning thy or your. All right, I'm ka, your people, thy people. Um, haza, derived from the root word za, meaning um, that. This is ha ga the wall, which ga the wall means great. All right, and let's get the vocabulary. I thought meaning now, chakma wisdom, uh, madai knowledge, Nathan give, anya I, yatza to go out, panyam before, aim people, za, that, bawa come, maya who, shapat judge. Got a wild, great. All right, and with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. We give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai, Bahashim Kakudash, Shalom, and keep the faith.